JM Air Conditioning and Heating, and today we're going to go over air filters for your home comfort system. Okay, so we're all familiar with our furnace filters that we have in our home. Uh, sometimes they'll be in a grill or underneath, the, like inside the furnace, or you know, like in a wall or something. Uh, most people just think, yeah, we just change this every uh, year or every three months or six months or something like that, and everything's good. Um, there's a little bit more to it than that. For example, why wouldn't you use this filter instead of this filter? Or one of these. Which one of these is right for you? And how do you know which one to pick? Well, we're gonna go through a few of those items. Um, the first thing we wanna talk about is MERV rating. Now, MERV stands for Minimum Efficiency Reporting Value. That's a fancy way of saying how many of the small particles that are in the air are gonna get trapped in the fibers. This is the standard MERV 10 pleated filter that you're gonna see at your, uh, uh, your Home Depot or your Lowe's, your big box stores. Um, we sell them here also. This is a standard decent filter rated at a MERV 10. That's gonna capture particles down to between one and three microns at approximately 85%. Now what's a micron? It's a 50 microns for reference is the width approximately of a human hair. So we're talking about, you know, a tiny, tiny particle. Um, dust, uh, pet dander, stuff like that will get captured in here and it'll help keep the furnace uh, clean. But for your health, you might want to increase that MERV rating to something a little higher. Um, this is another example of a MERV 10, a little bit better thickness there, so you actually get more pleats, you get more airflow through something like this because the surface area is significantly larger. Okay. Moving on from that, what I see a lot in customers' homes when I go out to their homes is this purple filtrate model 1500 and you see it says allergen bacteria and virus this is a MERV 12 filter now you got to be careful with these filters because way down at the bottom it'll tell you what your maximum airflow is now you got to be really careful with airflow on filters this one here it says its maximum rated airflow is 1390 cfm that's a Excuse me, that's a three and a half ton air conditioner, approximately. Now, if you're running it on a three and a half ton air conditioner, you're actually gonna be reducing your airflow substantially with this particular filter. The reason is because the pleats are really tight, the media is very tight, and it's, they're trying to package everything in a very tight space. They're really trying to do too much with this filter. That doesn't mean you can't use this filter. This filter here, uh, will work on a smaller air conditioning system a lot better than it will on a larger one. So if you're having real airflow problems, high electricity bills, you need to really consider using a, a better filter if you have allergies also. So when we want to get more airflow through an air conditioning system and do filtering, we need to go to a bigger filter. Something like this. Now this is something J&M Air Conditioning installs standard. This is in a cabinet. So the cabinet filter will attach to the furnace or air handler in your home uh, on the ductwork and it'll house a large pleated filter. This is very soft, it's thick. This is a MERV 13. So this is gonna capture very small dust particles. It's gonna capture mold and bacteria, um, some larger smoke and stuff. Um, and things like that. It's also really easy to change and the, the filter life on something like this is close to a year. In some cases it is a year or even longer. Um, if you've got a high, if you've got a lot of dirt and dust in your home, you might have to change it twice a year. You just kind of have to play it by ear on that. Um, but this will keep your system clean and the air in your home very clean. And see how it accordions out like that for easy storage and then you can we're gonna have to get a better video of installing this. But. 
Okay. Now, the, the nice thing about a cabinet filter like this one from April Air is that you can change the filter to something like this. This is a carbon filter. So this removes odors. It's the same, uh, it removes the same particles, but it also helps help make the air smell clean. So if you have pets, small children, maybe still in diapers, something like this would go a long way uh, in keeping the equipment clean and again, the air in the home. Big, big improvement. These are interchangeable, you know, so if you find that you don't need this anymore, you can go back to this other filter that's already installed. Um, April Air also makes a very high allergen and asthma filter that collects, you can see if you can get that right there. So they have, they have four different filter options for this cabinet. Now, healthy climate, they have a MERV 16 filter. So this MERV 16 filter is also a carbon filter like the one you just saw. So it's gonna do the, the, the job on odors and things like that, but it's gonna collect even smaller particles. So a MERV 16 is rated at greater than 95% of particles between 0.3 and one micron. That's really small. Viruses, things like that, are going to get captured in this filter. Okay. There are some even higher range filters, electronic air cleaners and hybrid filters. We'll probably do a separate video on those. And there's other indoor air quality products such as air scrubbers, um, UV lights, things like that. But those are a separate video. I do want to warn people though, these filters here, they don't solve every problem. You really need to hire somebody that knows what they're doing and knows how to handle filters to, to select the right product for your application. You could very easily choke off your air conditioning system with not enough airflow and increase your electricity usage during the summertime when you're trying to cool your home with a filter that's too restrictive for the amount of air you're trying to pass through. That's not a good thing. It's a bad thing. So in some cases, if you're unsure about what filter you use, you should just call me at J&M Air Conditioning, 951-654-3464. And ask me. I will try my best to put you in the, in the right path. If you've got major, major air quality problems in your home, sometimes it's not because the filter at all. Sometimes it's duct leakage and other things that need to be addressed. So these are by no means a silver bullet for air quality problems. You gotta especially be careful with the most popular filter on the market. This thing has really choked up. I see filters this size or sometimes just a little bit bigger on systems that just are way too big to be filtered through a filter like this. Uh, they, you can't get the airflow through it. So you gotta be really careful. So the reason for this video is basically be careful, know what you're buying, have an air conditioning contractor, select the right filter for your application. Something that's easy to change, easy to access, easy to get, and that keeps the equipment clean and the air in your home clean. Mm -hmm.